Did you live in in Hollywood the first when you first moved to LA? Did you live yeah. in this neighborhood? Yeah, yeah. I lived I lived uh, uh, in a building called the Fountain like right off. It was it was uh, Yucca and Whitley. So you moved out here. Home. You were a part of a band, right? Originally, that's why you came out to yeah. play with the band, and then wound up getting into acting. Did you have a regular job, or was the band paying your bills? No, there was no, no, no. no. You had to, <laughs> you had to like, pay, you had to pay clubs to play here. Oh, you did. Yeah, yeah, you did. You had to actually pay them. It wasn't even like get a lot of your friends to come and we'll let you play. It was well, paying them. There was that, and you had to pay them. Wow. Yeah. How much would you have to pay? I don't remember, but it was like, you know, it was more than we had, for sure. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I did, uh, but I did have a job. We, the, the entire bank had a job at this, uh, uh, it was a telemarketing um, place. Off, what were you, what were you selling Ivar, people? You know? uh, ink pens. Ink pens? Yeah, of course. Were they personalized pens? They were. My Aunt Chippy did this, too. Aunt yeah. Chippy did that? Uh, yeah, she did. did. What she described, and tell me if it's the same thing, is they would sell these pens for a lot more than they were worth, uh -huh. but over the phone, they sounded pretty great. It was like, we'll send you a pen, it has your business's name on it, you can give it to your clients, and they were like two bucks or $2.50 each, mm -hmm. and then the people got the pens, and inevitably, they were furious because they were clearly not worth more than like five cents yeah. each. Yeah, there was, the, yeah, I, yeah, we sold ink pens with the, their business name and everything. That was the one. You do this whole, this whole, there's a whole rap to it. But, but we had the extra added pleasure of offering them either a trip to Greece or a... Really? Or a grandfather clock. <laughs> and I, I think the other thing was like, a, you know, a half a TV set or something. <laughs> um, Were but, you good at it? I was uh, not good at it. Not good at it. Uh, <laughs> but I, I did make I, I did make one sale, and uh, the guy was gonna buy like a gross of pens, you know, yeah. for some inordinate, you know, crazy amount of money. And I finally, we're making the deal. And I finally just went, hey, listen, sir, don't 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 uh, <laughs> don't don't buy this pen. Because <laughs> you're, you're not going to Greece, I guarantee. You. <laughs> That doesn't exist. Um, and the grandfather clock, which does exist, is made out of, like, press board. <laughs> so, like, your dog, if your dog's tail wags against it... It's, it's going all, down, it's, yeah. It's gonna come down like, you know... And he... Did he thank you for your honesty? <laughs> he did, in a very confused way. I think he wanted to punch. Did you get fired from that job? I, 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 I then uh, took it upon myself to leave. You, you know? fired yourself from I that did. job. Yeah, well, it sounds really... like that was gonna happen one way or the other. Yeah. Do you love clicking buttons and subscribing to things? Then click the button to subscribe to my channel and you'll finally be happy.